Uh, hi, I'm Wangeshi. Uh, I was in college, or just about to start college. Uh, just finished A levels and was heading into uh, a weird period of time where I was heading into a very strange time of my life where I didn't know what was going on with me. Um, in fact, a lot of the friends that I'd made within the first few months of university uh, were the ones who told me that there's something going on with you and you should see a therapist. Um, but what was going on was that I was sleeping a lot, I wasn't attending classes as much, and I was having a difficult time uh, processing information in class. So then what happened was I decided to go to a therapist. And the therapist, after a couple of sessions, was like, you have a schizoaffective disorder, which is a disorder that has schizophrenia and bipolar, mild, but still quite detrimental to the person who has it. My journey with mental illness has been a long, long one, but we're getting better and we're getting the help that we need. Before I was diagnosed, life was very difficult. I used to get really angry and I wouldn't know why. I used to sink into a depression and I wouldn't know why. I called it burnout. Um, not knowing really that there was something wrong with me. I didn't know that it wasn't me that was the problem, that it was a chemical imbalance. So when I got the diagnosis, I was extremely relieved. I was ready to get help and I had come to a point in my life where I had gotten so low after my grandfather died, it was a trigger. I think the hardest thing for me about having a child with mental illness is thinking about what my, getting over whether I'm to blame or not. You know, what did I do in the upbringing? Did I not pray enough? Initially, the hardest part was accepting that the way we relate has to change um, and that uh, somebody who I love very dearly is, is sick. I'd say I was unprepared to face the reality that I didn't know my sister as well as I thought. And when she opened up to me about her struggle and what she was going through, I really came face to face with that I needed to dive deeper into knowing her. Well, I think for me, uh, as I looked at uh, that issue, I thought back to when all this started. And I realized that to become a subject matter expert on biblical psychology was possibly the biggest thing I had to do. That took three years of reading. So today, um, I could probably sit an undergraduate exam on biblical psychology. It started off as they were not very supportive because they didn't understand and it was just my dad at the time. Uh, my mom had passed on. So I didn't have the support of a mother, even though um, it's probably what I needed the most at that time. So I only had my dad and I was living abroad, right? So we would talk, I think we talked once out of the three months I was uh, there before I came home for Christmas um, and before I went back to school. There was no support. Um, during that time. So I ended up actually reaching out to my brother, Karethi, um, and he was the person that I talked to the most uh, about what was going on, and he sort of helped me, led me through that journey. Um, even though he's my younger brother, he was very supportive. Uh, when we were both at school in Canada, I used to call her frequently, and giving her the time to talk to me from 20 minute calls to eventually two hour calls where she was really opening up on her struggles. And those talks allowed her to come home. And when we started, she was not going to come home. And I don't know if she'd be alive if she hadn't come home. With what I've been through with Wangeshi, I did not have the strength to help her. And uh, I have cried out to God many times to give me the strength to walk with her. And with my other family members, uh, doing this together has also given me a lot of strength. 
I think it's too difficult a journey to walk alone. Uh, being able to walk it as a family of seven uh, has, has given me a lot of strength to walk with Wangeshi. My prayer for my children is that they will always depend on God. I think whether you're experiencing mental health or not, if you're not depending on God, you're already in trouble and it only gets worse. So for my children who have mental health diagnosis, my prayer is that they depend on God and learn to live fulfilled and satisfying lives, even if they have a diagnosis. And then uh, it's not like I have been through an easy time. Uh, there have definitely been times when um, I've been like lost a job or had a setback. Um, and bouncing back from those problems has been a lot easier coming out of the mental health depression slash bubble that I was in. Because when I first came back, it was a series of, it was about three years. Um, and it, most, of those, most of that time was during COVID. So it was a very dark time because I didn't have access to my healthcare. Uh, all I had was my medication. Um, but coming out of that time, um, I think I'm a lot stronger.